I'm going to show you some things. One of them I only got permission to show this morning. It's something I've never shown before. I'm the evangelist for IBM Watson. We're quite a big company, 106-year-old startup, and we cover a lot of really important questions in this space. AI, what does it mean? How is it going to change our jobs? Really, what we're actually talking about is how do we avoid this weird situation where we don't all lose our jobs by trying to sell more stuff faster, because we know the world's changing a lot faster than we all realize, right? I want to show you a technology that we've only just had permission to show up. I'm going to try and cut it off because some of it's sensitive. This is two scientists from our data labs at TJ Watson Labs in New York. This is them using an AI to try and understand how to explore acquisitions or strategic changes within a business. Watson, I need help with acquisitions. Hello. How can I help you with mergers and acquisitions? Watson, show me companies with revenue between $25 million and $60 million pertaining to analytics. Let's see what I can find. I found 87 companies. Nice. Watson, show me companies with revenue between $15 million and $60 million pertaining to cognitive strategy. Let's see what I can find. Yeah, this is nice. I found 112 companies. Now we're getting a lot in here. And we can see we're, we're getting some connections. Watson, show me a decision table. Here is a decision table that will enable you to compare companies side by side. What Watson's doing there is he's processing 10 million records a second. It's about half a gig every second. It's pretty much what a human can do in a lifetime. It's taking Watson about one second to do. So you're a doctor, and we do a lot of research in oncology. He would read 50,000 medical research records to try and figure out diagnoses or what type of drugs to change for people. This is a marketing assistant. We only launched it a couple of months ago. Um, don't get me wrong, this is in no way a sales pitch at all. I just want to show you all the technologies that we've just dangled in front of you and show you what this would mean in the most basic use case. Really, really simple. Managing an email campaign. So what I'm going to try and do now, if it works, is do a live demonstration of Watson with my voice to build a campaign that has gone wrong. Hey, Watson. Hello. Would you like to learn more about Campaigns Leak for 3 launch? Yes. How does this drop compare to all other campaigns in the past year? This campaign is ranked 238 out of 250 campaigns over the past year. So it's looked at every single campaign. My gut feeling's right. It's 238 out of 250. Just as I'm going through this, think about this in terms of when you're doing your business, how many times you've got to go back to your agencies, your email teams, your marketing teams, your analysts, data scientists. Modify this campaign subject line to the future is amazing with Sleek Fit 3. The campaign subject line has been modified. Would you like to see this mailing template? <laughs> yes. I flip in. OK. Right. Now, what you've not seen, because we've done it super quick, is that it's personalized every single piece in line with the images, the headers, the colors, based upon the unique preferences of the customer. It's automatically changed the subject line. The best companies that we work with spend seven times more or 10 times more on the people than they do on the tech. The ones that fail put all the money into the tech and things like Watson, and it falls over. And they don't know why, because they didn't train people. And they didn't try and learn properly from the process of what people actually needed, which is why it's important is we have faith in people. They're good and smart. And if we give them the right tools, amen, they'll do something wonderful with them. Thanks, everybody.